Emancipation Day is observed in many former European colonies in the Caribbean and areas of the United States on various dates to commemorate the emancipation of slaves of African descent. On August 1, 1985 Trinidad and Tobago became the first independent country in the world to declare a national holiday to commemorate the abolition of slavery. It is also observed in other areas in regard to the abolition of serfdom or other forms of involuntary servitude. On August 1, 1985 Trinidad and Tobago became the first independent country in the world to declare a national holiday to commemorate the abolition of slavery. In Trinidad and Tobago, Emancipation Day replaced Columbus Discovery Day which commemorated the arrival of Christopher Columbus at Moruga on 31 July 1498. As a national public holiday, the commemoration begins the night before with an all-night vigil and includes religious services, cultural events, street processions past historic landmarks, addresses from dignitaries including an address from the President of Trinidad and Tobago and ends with an evening of shows that include a torchlight procession to the National Stadium. The Slavery Abolition Act 1833, which abolished slavery throughout the British Empire, came into force the following year. On 1 August 1834, only slaves below the age of six were freed. Enslaved people older than six years of age were redesignated as apprentices and required to work 40 hours per week without pay, as part of compensation payment to their former owners. Full emancipation was finally achieved at midnight on 31 July 1838. Antigua and Barbuda celebrates Carnival on and around the first Monday of August since 1834 Antigua and Barbuda have observed the end of slavery. The first Monday and Tuesday in August was observed as a bank holiday so the populace can celebrate. Emancipation Day. Monday is Jewwert, a street party that mimics the early morning emancipation. Anguilla, in addition to commemorating emancipation, it is the first day of August week. The Anguillian Carnival celebrations. Jewwert is celebrated August 1st. As Carnival commences, the Bahamas celebrations are mainly concentrated in Fox Hill Village, Nassau, a former slave village whose inhabitants, according to folklore, heard about their freedom a week after everyone else on the island. The celebration known as the Bayfest, beginning on August 1st and lasting several days, is held in the settlement of Hatchet Bay on the island of Eleuthera. And, Back to the Bay, is held in the settlement of Tapam Bay, also on Eleuthera. Emancipation Day in Barbados is part of the annual, Season of Emancipation, which began in 2005. The season runs from April 14th to August 23rd. Commemorations include Emancipation Day celebrations usually feature a walk from Independence Square in Bridgetown to the Heritage Village at the Crop Over Bridgetown Market on the Spring Garden Highway. At the Heritage Village, in addition to a concert, there is a wreath-laying ceremony as a tribute to the ancestors. Traditionally, the Prime Minister, the Minister for Culture, and representatives of the Commission for Pan-African Affairs are among those laying wreaths. Starting 2021, Belize joins other Caribbean nations in the observance of Emancipation Day on 1 August to commemorate the emancipation of enslaved people in the Caribbean in 1843. Bermuda celebrates its Emancipation Day on the Thursday before the first Monday in August, placing it in either July or August British Virgin Islands. The first Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of August are celebrated as August Festival. Since March 2021 the Canadian government has officially designated August 1st every year as Emancipation Day across Canada. However, African Canadian communities have commemorated Emancipation Day since the 1800s, most notably black communities the towns of Windsor, Owen Sound, Amherstburg, Sandwich in Ontario, and provinces including New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. Notable Emancipation Day commemoration include the Big Picnic, organized by the Toronto Division of the Universal Negro Improvement Association, which attracted thousands of attendees from the 1920s through to the 1950s. The first The Big Picnic was held at in 1924 Lakeside Park in the community of Port Dalhousie.
On Lake Ontario, August 1 marks the day the Slavery Abolition Act 1833 ended slavery in the British Empire in 1834, and thus also in Canada. However, the first colony in the British Empire to have anti-slavery legislation was Upper Canada. Now Ontario, John Graves Simcoe, the first lieutenant governor of Upper Canada, passed the 1793 Act Against Slavery, banned the importation of slaves and mandated that children born to enslaved women would be enslaved until they were 25 years old, as opposed to in perpetuity. It was superseded by the Slavery Abolition Act 1833. Every year Canadians celebrate an August vacation day on the first weekend of the month, ostensibly to reflect on the gift of respo.